Hello guys, in today's video we are going to talk about the equation of a circle. Let's start! So our target for today is to illustrate the center radius form of an equation of a circle and to determine the center and the radius of a circle given the equation and vice versa. From the distance formula, in this figure, in order for us to find the radius or the length of the radius, we can get their distance using these coordinates of the center C and a point on the circle P. So we are going to use a distance formula. So if we substitute these coordinates of the center and a point on the circle X, Y, we are going to have the radius is equal to the square root of X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. So if we square both sides of the equation, we are going to have R squared is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared and this is what we call the standard form of the equation of a circle sometimes it's called the center radius form because it can easily give us the center which is located at the h k coordinate and the radius which is the square root of the r squared so let's have examples so example number one finding the equation of a circle so what is the equation of the circle in standard form whose center is located at 2, 3, and has a radius of 6? All we have to do is to follow this standard form of the equation of a circle and substitute our center and the radius. So let hk be the coordinates 2, 3, and r is equal to 6. So if we are going to substitute those values or these values on our standard form, we are going to have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to 6 squared and since you are asked to um, write this in standard form let us square 6 and we're going to have x minus 2 raised to 2 plus y minus 3 raised to 2 is equal to 36 and this is the standard form of the equation whose center is located at 0.23 and has a radius of 6 okay so let's have another example so number two, writing an equation of a circle given the center and a point on the circle. So with this, find the equation of a circle in standard form whose center is at 7, 1 and passing through the point 1, 9. So this point 1, 9 is actually a point on the circle while 7, 1 is our center. So for us to find the radius, we must find the distance between the center and the point on the circle. So let's start with that. Okay, so we use the distance formula to get the radius from the center 7, 1 and a point on the circle located at 1, 9. So using the distance formula, we will be substituting the 7 minus 1 squared plus 1 minus 9 squared. 7 minus 1 is 6 and then 1 minus 9 is negative 8. When you square both of them, you're going to have 6 squared plus negative 8 squared, which will be equal to 36 plus 64. Therefore, the radius is square root of 100 or the radius is 10. Now that we have the radius, we can now use the standard form um, to get the equation of the circle. So using the radius and the center located at 7, 1, we will be substituting it to the standard form. So we're going to have x minus 7 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 10 squared. And 10 squared is 100, therefore the equation in standard form of this given circle is x minus 7 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 100. Okay? Another example on equations, on circles. So write an equation of a circle uh, given the endpoints of a diameter. So now that the diameter is given, say for example we have the... Um, a circle whose diameters and points located at point A, which is at negative 4, 3, and point B at 6, 11. So we can find the midpoint of the diameter AB by simply using the midpoint formula. So if you want to check how to use the midpoint formula, you can click in the description down below. So to find the midpoint, we use the formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 for the x coordinate and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2 for the y, y coordinate. So once we've substituted it, so that's negative 4 plus 6 divided by 2 is 
uh, 2 over 2 and then 3 plus 11 is 14 over 2 then therefore the center is located at coordinate 1 7 and since we already know the center to in order for us to complete the equation is the radius so let's find the radius using the distance so you can actually use the distance of the diameter so find the length of the diameter losing the distance formula and then you divide it by 2 or use the center you can use the center and any of the endpoints of the diameter so for this solution I'm going to use point A which is located at negative 4 3 and the center 1 7 using the distance formula we are going to have 1 minus the negative 4 squared plus 7 minus 3 squared so 1 minus negative 4 is 5 and then 7 minus um, 3 is 4 so 5 squared plus 4 squared will give us the square root of 25 plus 16 therefore the radius is square root of 41 okay so now that we were able to get the center located at 1 7 so we have our h and k already and our radius is square root of 41 we can now substitute those values to the standard form of the equation of a circle so we're going to put it right up here so if we are going to substitute the h and the k so center is at 1k so x minus 1 squared plus y minus 7 squared is equal to the square root of 41 and if you're going to simplify the square root of 41 squared then the equation of the circle in standard form is x minus 1 squared plus y minus 7 squared is equal to 41 okay so example number four finding the center and the radius of a circle given the equation in general form so for us to answer this problem um, to find the center and the radius of the circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y is equal to 12 first we must learn how to convert this general form of equation into the standard form because once it's in standard form it's easy for us to find the center and the radius so let's start rewriting this equation into the standard form so first um, we must identify those terms that have the same variable it is because we have to group them together such as x squared plus 4x grouped together then y squared minus 6y grouped together and put the constant to the other side of the equation next we complete the squares so we will be completing the squares for x squared plus 4x and also for y squared minus 6y and when you complete the squares, take note that whatever you add to the left side of the equation must also be added to the right side of the equation. And by doing so, how do we apply the completing the squares again? If you may recall, we just have to identify the B of the quadratic equation. That's 4 here and for our X. Then you divide it by 2, then raise to 2. So that's 4 divided by 2 raised to 2, which is equal to 4. Meaning we'll be adding 4 on for our X. And for y, we will be identifying the b, which is actually the negative 6. So we divide negative 6 by 2, and then we square it, we will get a 9. So that's 9 here for the y. And don't forget that if you add a 4 and a 9 on the left side, you, will, you must also add a 4 and a 9 to the right side. And by doing so, we are going to have an equation that goes like this. x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 12 plus 4 plus 9. After completing the squares, we factor uh, the trinomial on the left side. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 4. Factored form is actually x plus 2 squared. And then uh, the perfect square trinomial, y squared minus 6y plus 9. When you factor it, you're going to get y minus 3 squared. And then when you add 12 plus 4 plus 9, you're going to have 25. And since we are almost already in the standard form, we just have to find the radius. So convert 25 into its square form. So that is 25, uh, 5 squared. So now that we have our equation in standard form, therefore we can now get the radius and the center's coordinates. So the h and k are this um, negative 2 and then positive 3. And then the radius is 5. So our um, center is located at coordinate negative 2, 3 and the radius is 5. So I hope you learned something in today's video. Um, I'll be giving more examples on the next video. So with that, I'll see you in the next one.
peace.